Hello ladies. Okay, so I just wanted to take a few minutes and do a little training video because we didn't have a training meeting this week and we are in Dallas, Texas and having so much fun already. Um, seeing all kinds of fun new things and new products. I um, got to go to a fun uh, prize party at Gillies it's called today. Oh my gosh, got to see armadillo races. I didn't even know really what an armadillo was, um, but they actually had armadillos and they do armadillo racing. I guess it's a big deal in Texas. Um, so that was super fun. The girls got sashes who won because I guess you actually anyway it's super fun let me show you real quick where we're at this is there's downtown dallas our our window is from floor to ceiling our whole wall super fun um there's over there there's the hats the red hat cowboy hats we got oh my gosh it was so fun to wear those let's go back around zoom hello um our beautiful room here at the omni oh my gosh look at how gorgeous this room is that beautiful artwork okay you're just gonna look at the roof real quick hello okay so I am going to, here we go. Okay, just had to put that so we can fix you up there. Okay, I wanna to talk to you a few minutes about goal setting for the month of August and for um, uh, booking because those things are key. Uh, you wanna get bookings. You can sell product um, you know, from the catalog. You can sell product um, to people you know but getting in front of people is gonna increase your sales, increase your customer base, um, increase your leads, and increase your team members. So. Um, you know, having, I'm going to talk about booking and getting in front of people. Um, first of all, setting the goal. Now, say, uh, you know, deciding where you want to be by the end of August. So let's say we get in the car in uh, California and we decide we're going to drive to Texas this year. Uh, if we just get in the car and take off um, and hope we get to Texas, um, you know, thinking, okay, it's, it's uh, south, so we're just going to head south. Um, we may not get to the destination we're looking for. We may not get to actually Dallas, Texas. We're not gonna know how long it takes to get there. We're not gonna plan for the right gas amount, you know, the financial part, the money part. We're not gonna have any of those things planned if we just get in the car and drive and hope to hit Texas. Or if we go, gosh, well, this sounds good, so I'm gonna grab some maps and we grab a map to New York or we grab a map to Florida, um, hoping to get to Texas. We may not make it to Texas. Um, we may make it somewhere, but not to where we wanna make it. So ha it's the same thing with your business. If you don't have a goal of where you wanna be by the end, we may not get there. <laughs> so um, having, a, having a goal, and if you wanna be in your red jacket, if you wanna be on target for your car, those things, I don't care if you've been in the company two days, are completely attainable. I am going to talk about a financial goal in this recording, but if you're wanting to be in your red jacket or if you're wanting to be um, you know, on target for your car or whatnot, then um, please call me and we can talk about what that roadmap looks like. Um, but I'm just going to talk about just a breakdown of a financial goal. And I'm more than happy to help you with your personal uh, goal and hold you accountable if that's what you want for the, um, for the month, you know, keep in, um, in, in contact with you. But say you want to make an extra $600 this month. Um, so at the end of August, you're going to be super excited by having an extra $600 uh, uh, in your pocket. So you need to sell $1,200 to uh, achieve that $600 um, mark. So first off, you need your per face average. Now, if you are brand new in the company and you haven't even done 30 faces, you really don't know your per face average. If you've been in the company a while and you haven't done 30 faces, you probably really don't know your per face average. So knowing your per face average is important. So I'm just gonna give you two. The, the company average is $75 to $100 a face. So I'm gonna give you $50 a face and $75 a face because we don't know what your per face average is. But say you want to make an extra $1,200, I'm sorry, $600 this month selling $1,200, then you're going to have to be in front of about 24 faces if your per face average is $50 a face. Um, if your per face average is an average of $75 a face, you're going to need to be in front of 16 people. Um, this month, and so, and that's that's going to yield you a six hundred dollar profit. I challenge you that that it's probably going to be more than that, but, um, but checking that out and just knowing that, and and whatever your per face average is, if you continually work your business weekly, uh, it will grow because you will grow in confidence of the products, confidence of your presentation, confidence of yourself and your skills. So. Um, first off, just looking at where you want to be. So if you're saying, okay, so I'm just going to use 16 faces because most people are about $75 a face. Now that does not mean that your first five faces are going to buy $75. They may buy $50, $0, $200, $0. I mean, it, it just, sometimes that's how it goes. 
Um, but keep it in mind the end goal of where you want to be and not stumbling over every single mark that um, happens along the way but continuing on to the goal and so uh, 16 faces divided by four weeks that's three faces a week um, so you know you probably need to book six faces a week if you want to hold three because that's kind of the way it goes doesn't matter what if you're a doctor if you're a hairstylist if you're a Mary Kay consultant um, you know half will hold it's just kind of the way it goes with um, you know any appointment type um, business and then um, just knowing that when someone says no or someone says oh my gosh I'm so busy right now my kids are headed back to school and I just you know I'm a teacher and I'm you know and then your thought process sometimes says um, oh, everyone's busy right now. But that's not really the truth. It was just her that was busy. Or if you run into someone says, oh, Mary Kay broke me out. Not really true for everybody because Mary Kay has been the number one best-selling brand in the world for the last many, many years. I believe it's 17 years. Don't quote me on that. But we just got the best, um, you know, top brand again, best-selling. And so not really true for everybody. It was just true for that particular person. Um, so you gotta, you gotta understand that, um, you know, just because one person says something, it doesn't mean it reigns true for the next person. I know it certainly wouldn't for me if I wouldn't want someone judging me based on what someone else in their life said, and I don't even know that person. And so um, I would expect that we would give everyone that same respect. So so just knowing that putting on the blinders, sometimes if you want to um, book, let's see, 16, three faces a week, if you find... Um, you know, two people a week that will invite over two friends and then when one cancels, you still have one hold. That's a two, you know, two hour time slot in a week. Um, and that will easily yield you $600. That's exciting. That's terribly exciting. Um, I wanted to, let's see, got to look at my notes here. One thing that I have disciplined myself, um, and it feels weird if I don't do it, um, is to get two bookings a day. If you choose to go get two bookings a day, um, and, and you know, some days you'll mess up and you'll get none. Some days you'll get three or four in a day. It doesn't cancel out the next day. It's just two bookings a day, two bookings a day, two bookings a day. Um, it will fill your books up and you will keep going and going and going. And so, um, I always challenge you, you know, if you're just, if you're at a facial or a skincare class and someone books, there's a booking for that day. Um, so it's exciting to be able to, to, um, just keep it simple and get those two bookings a day. Um, just, just keep that in mind. Or you can say five a week. You know, I need five or seven or 14 bookings a week. Whatever it takes for you um, and how it breaks down to make you, uh, you know, just feel like you're winning and you're moving forward and it's the, keeping this business simple. Um, you have to keep disciplined. And that's, that's some of the part, you know, we think... Um, it's Mary Kay, you know, we, we always hear Mary, uh, God first, family second, career third. Well, sometimes we're honoring God and honoring our families by doing our work, by, you know, setting aside and not playing with the kids right now for a few minutes or telling our husband we can go out and, you know, an hour because I hadn't made my booking calls or, or whatnot, um, or not sitting down with the family and watching the show. Um, and making my booking calls, that's honoring God and honoring my family um, and getting my, my work done. So so just keep that in mind. It doesn't mean putting off work all the time for other things that come into your life. You are a businesswoman, um, and whether you're a stay-at-home mom, you're not a stay-at-home mom, you're a work-from-home mom. Um, if you do Mary Kay alongside a job, now you've got, um, you know, you've got a second um you know, a, a business beyond your job that needs, requires your time. Um, but I, I tell you, if you discipline yourself, if you took the next three months and got two bookings a day, two bookings a day, you would be on fire. You would have a business that's flowing and you'd feel like it's simple and smooth because you um, have just kept going and kept, got that um, discipline into your life. So one other thing, um, one last thing I want to talk about real quick is just booking. So I know, and, and um, a lot of people, so here's the thing, you say, hey, Susie, I am in this contest. I need to be in front of 16 faces, um, you know, 16 people this month and to um, present.